our international speech, we have our first, our fourth contestant, <laughs> Mr. Jane Harris, with Lord Show Yourself. Lord Show Yourself, Jane Harris. <laughs> I said, Lord, show yourself. <clears throat> Fellow Toastmasters, not a guest. In 27 years, I have not seen or really heard your voice. I have faith. But at that point in time, I thought about this. This scripture in Romans 8 6. <clears throat> it said, For the flesh is mine is death, and for the spirit, but the spirit is mine is life and peace. I said, Wow, you're challenging the Almighty. Most young people who did that. Number one, I think back when I walked out on the war field like I was somebody and looked up. That was the Almighty. And I said, Lord, show yourself. Who am I? I forgot. As a kid, I ran through the woods of South Carolina infested with snakes never bitten. I was a paper boy in my in New York from the age 12 to 16. They call it Murderville now. <laughs> never had a problem. I'm the oldest of 10 children. All completely healthy. All alive and well. I forgot all those things. Lord, show yourself. Well, let me tell you what happened. Within the next 12 months, good and bad, things happened. First, I picked up a drug dealer who was being watched by the police, and I got arrested. Oh, I'm in jail overnight, 24 hours. Can't get out. What the, what's going on here? A month later, I'm in the hospital. I had a biopsy done. It is not good news. In that hospital, in one hour, I heard three major pieces of news that blew my mind. My wife's pregnant. The house that we bid it on for nothing down, the bid was accepted. And three, the doctor said, you have Hodgkin's. You have cancer of your lymph nodes. We will have to do major surgery 
Coffee, radiation, and chemotherapy. I said, oh, God, what's going on? What's happening? And I said, Lord, show yourself. I thought that. In my mind, why would you think of such a thing? But as you're growing up, at a certain stage in life, you feel invincible. I will never die. If you haven't thought that, you missed something. <laughs> I don't think it anymore, but at the time, it was all possible. <clears throat> so what do you do? I cried. Grown man crying. Grown man crying. Man on pause. <laughs> And I immediately felt better. That scripture came back to me. For the mind of the flesh is death. But the mind of the spirit is life and peace. I suddenly began to see life and peace everywhere. I heard the birds sing. Time slowed down. I saw the flowers blooming. I counted the minutes. Everything was precious. My daughter was born nine months later, beautiful and healthy. I wondered, was all that necessary? It was a fabulous growth experience. It was like not now. <laughs> it was like another brother. <laughs> Life was great. Life and peace. Then I heard the Lord say to me, so clearly, he said, Jim, can you see me now? Do I need to show you anything else? I said, Lord, I see you. Please, don't show me anything else. <laughs> <laughs>